Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another great video here. I hope that you're having a great day. And today's video topic is all about the number one investment that I have ever made for teaching English online. Two videos ago, I made a relatively short video about the two best investments that I've ever made for teaching English online. And then yesterday I realized one of the most important essential tools, equipment, that you're going to need, and it's not that expensive. So it costs less than $30. So what I'm going to do as lightly as I can, I'm gonna take my phone out of the tripod. So this right here is exactly what I use every single day with all of my online English lessons. So before, when I first started teaching English online, I was holding the phone in my hand. Did never, I never really did have the video on. Sometimes I did. And I can't believe it. It wasn't until December of 2016, early December, late November 2016, that I got one of these things so that way I could keep my phone in one place and not have to hold it, it won't be moving, and it just work out a lot better for my student and all the whole experience. So I'm gonna put it back in for right now, but it's really great. You can use it as like a selfie stick, you can use it on a table, and all you gotta do is just slide, I can't even get it up, see right here? It kind of just slides up, so that way you can put it into landscape view, or if you want to go in the side, whatever you want. So, why is this essential? As I've already mentioned, when you're teaching English online, one of the most annoying things is, or when you're doing video with someone, is the it's constantly moving. It starts to make you kind of dizzy. Some people are very motion, motion sickness. So, I'll even have sometimes some students um, they're moving the camera all over the place, and my patience is low, and I'll just say, hey, stop moving the phone. <laughs> Find a place. Sit down, please. So if we as the teachers might feel frustrated from that experience with one of the students, um, which can happen, is going to happen, you'll have times like that. Not everyone has something to keep the iPad still or the iPhone still, and many times you might have a student in the car coming from, you know, leaving one lesson and then going home to eat dinner, or they might even be at a restaurant. I've had many classes like that, and they're pretty cool too because, you know, diversity and the diversity of the geography, <laughs> the geographic location of where the student is, is always nice, you know. Just like when I have a new background, immediately the student is like, hey, where are you at, teacher? because they're so used to what's going on behind me typically. Um, so when I change location, they always wanna know why. And of course, I always love to show them. So anyway, the tripod is gonna be a huge help. It's not that expensive. So if you have your light, the LED light, if you have the tripod, and if you have all those things lined up, and a good place to sit, you're gonna be doing really well long-term as an online English teacher. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's been leaving questions. I've been trying my best to get back to everyone as quick as possible. And so basically in my free time, people ask me, you know, when I'm not teaching English online, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm taking care of things. I got like so wrapped up last summer with, with, you know, doing everything besides taking care of myself. And so when I stopped the vegan lifestyle, this vegan journey, when I stopped it, I started drinking raw goat milk. I started eating the fish. I started eating the chicken. I started eating pork. And I even had a steak two weeks ago for the first time in three years. And I'll tell you, there's something about fat and protein that you can't get away from. I've spent thousands, thousands of dollars on 
superfoods and super herbs and smoothie mixes and protein powders, all vegan, highest organic quality that you can find on the planet. I went out and I sourced that stuff and I spent a fortune. So I started to realize that my teeth, my dental, and just, I was losing so much weight towards the end. You guys can see it on the videos from like six, seven months ago, my face looked like a lot thinner and not healthy, not healthy. And now my face is filled out on the screen and I just feel so much more energized. And look, if something works for someone, that's great. But not everything is for everybody. And so I'm typically, I typically have a pretty extreme personality towards things. So when I was in the vegan movement hardcore, I was really hardcore. I was very judgmental, very critical of people, even my own partner. And that caused conflict with family and just went through a whole, a whole cycle of interesting events, to say the least, for about eight years. And then this year, what came down to it was I was biting into a mango and my teeth hurt in the first bite. And people were like, oh. I'll tell you why, because the sugar, when, you're, when your bones, when your teeth don't have the proper amount of minerals and nutrients and fat soluble vitamins, you know, again, everybody's different, but my teeth were, I was ruining my teeth with all these carbohydrate rich foods. Like when you go to a vegan diet, yeah, there's a lot of fat sources and well, I can't really say there's a lot of fat sources in nature. And industrial plant, there's a lot of fat sources that you can extract from, but they're not anywhere as powerful as animal fat, animal protein. I mean, there's just, I could go all day about this. I didn't even expect to go on to this topic with this video, but I just wanted to get it off my chest. I really do, because maybe somebody's watching this video right now, they were a vegan or are a vegan or, you know, thinking about becoming a vegan, you know, you know, you have to experiment on yourself to understand what works and what doesn't work. And what works for me every day is a little bit of vegetable, a little bit of carbohydrate. Every day having some eggs or some kind of lean meat, some good fat, some good protein. And I am so much more focused for my lessons. I'm so much happier now. Before, the slightest things would tick me off and get me aggravated and get me impatient with my student for no reason, you know? And now I realize my stress levels are way down. I realize my, my energy, as I mentioned, my happiness, as I've mentioned, everything just seems, seems to be doing so wonderfully in my life. And then that, that goes in to my lessons and to my teaching, you know? And as I mentioned in the last video, I'm getting a lot more requests for bookings. It happened again today. Moms and dads say they want a full hour with me because they don't know when the next time they'll be able to have a lesson for their child with me. So it's like, there's something going on, you know, and I believe that omega-3 fatty oils, there's stuff about fats and proteins that, that deal with your hormones and your metabolism and all this stuff. So anyway, now that I've gotten that off my chest in a small side note, I hope everyone's having a great day. If you have any questions, please let me know below. I just wanted to get a quick video out, show you guys something that will really help you with your online English teaching success and that's getting a tripod so that your phone, your iPad, or whatever device that you're using will stay still. Wow, life is amazing, that is for sure. And I'm just out here doing my thing each and every day, waking up, showering, taking care of the daily routine, the morning routine, and not even going with the flow. I'm just rolling towards my destiny. I'm rolling towards the next day because that's all we can do. I just renewed my contract here at the condo for another four months and then I'm gonna be moving. So 
the countdown is on. In four months, I'll be out of here, you know? And it's kind of, I can't really believe it because this has been my life. I mean, I was traveling and teaching just country to country, moving around, didn't really have a solid base anywhere, didn't really have a general understanding of what I wanted to do. And then as Palfish came in, as meeting the right woman came in and moving to the right place, all that came together. And this has been the product of all of the hard work, all of the determination and just the, the relentlessness, you know, the persistence to take everything that's happened to me since I went down some dark paths and then to flip that on its side and work through it and see the true purpose in those challenges and those tests of time and then to be here right now and God willing have my house next year, have my own home gym next year, things like that getting out into nature, having my own new car. Like this is crazy. I never, never thought I would have something like that, you know? And to all the young people out there starting with TEFL, teaching English abroad or online, look, you gotta, you gotta get your priorities in line. I wish I had some kind of a mentor when I was starting out as a TEFL instructor, as a TEFL teacher in Costa Rica about the options, how you can go about taking on those options and how to maximize your opportunities. It was a completely different ball game 10 years ago, eight years ago, and it keeps changing every year. But gosh, if I had someone to tell me all these things about where to go, how to teach, where to teach, how to talk, you know, how to communicate, I mean, I'm happy with what I have right now, but who knows where I would be if I would have started out at 23, you know, doing my thing. But again, that's something I don't really want to ponder on too much because I'm so grateful for everything I have right now. I just share that with you guys because my YouTube channel, there's more and more people from 18 to 24 watching my videos and then 24 to 32 to 36. And then that's like the top of my, my lists right there. You know, people watching my video. So there's a lot of young cats, young guys and gals out there who want to teach English abroad at schools or online. Some people want to stay in their home country. Some people want to come out and travel. There's so many things that you guys can do. So just make sure you have your finances in order. You save money every month a little bit, even if it's 10 bucks or 50 bucks or $200, whatever, you're gonna be, you're gonna be on the right path. So if you guys got any questions, let me know below. And uh, I could just go all day on these videos. It's an amazing day. The sun is shining. It's blue sky. <sighs> Life is great. Thanks so much. Have a good one.